A potential new way to fight the pandemic, Pfizer testing a pill to treat COVID-19. Good evening, I'm Candace Burns. And I'm Bill Fitzgerald. Our Shannon Lilly spoke with health experts about how it would work and the impact this drug could have on the pandemic. She joins us live with what they had to say. Shannon. Well, Bill, one scientist that I spoke to put it this way, if effective, an antiviral pill could really take the teeth out of this pandemic. It could make you less contagious and keep you from getting severely sick. At the University of Virginia, clinical trials are underway to study COVID-19. But all of us infectious diseases is what we have trained our entire career to do is to, re to respond to this. And so professor of infectious diseases, Dr. Bill Petrie says right now, if you end up in the hospital with the virus, you might be given an antiviral to treat it. We do have a drug ritonavir that Patrick Jackson at UVA was part of the study that showed that this ritonavir antiviral works to treat the virus, but you have to give that by vein. And so it's really only for hospitalized patients. But now scientists are working to take that one step further. On Monday, Pfizer announced it's testing an antiviral pill you could take if you become infected. If the pill works as intended, then when you get the first symptoms of COVID-19, you would take it. It's twice a day for five days and it would keep you out of the hospital. Dr. So Petrie says the drug would act as a protease inhibitor, preventing a virus from taking the long protein that it makes and breaking it into smaller pieces. For HIV, this was a lifesaver. And then even more recently with hepatitis C virus, hepatitis C has gone from being an incurable cause of liver damage to being completely treated now to, to cure with a pill. With COVID hospitalizations surging in the state. Our main focus is on uh, taking care of the sick people that we have in our hospitals and getting as many people vaccinated as we can. Dr. Jake O'Shea, chief medical officer of HCA Virginia, says if effective, an oral antiviral for COVID could potentially serve as another tool for physicians to keep more people out of hospitals and limit the spread. But he says it's still too soon for doctors to prepare for that. We just have to see what data comes out comes out of the clinical trials, which will be very valuable. He also hopes the possibility of a treatment doesn't deter people from focusing on the most effective tool already available. That is a real risk, um, but I, I hope as we continue to see evidence of vaccination that's both safe and effective, that more and more people will continue to get vaccinated, regardless of the availability of antiviral drugs. Now, the expected completion date for the Pfizer trial is November 21st, and Dr. Petrie expects that we'll get results by the end of the year. After that, Pfizer would have to go through the same emergency use authorization process that it did for the vaccine. The FDA would have to weigh in on effectiveness and use. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Shannon Lilly, CBS 6 News.